Hi, my name is Char, and welcome back to 3-Minute Writing Tips. So I thought it would be fun if I see, you see, I have written a few books before. It, writing's one of my biggest passions, but I, just a warning, I am not a professional writer, definitely not. But I want to become an author someday, and I hopefully one day I can. So there's a lot of things that I have learned that I wish that I knew before I started writing. So I thought that I would start making these videos and share to you what I've learned. Again, this is not professional, so if you want to find someone professional to listen to other than me, then... um. There is this channel I actually really like listening to, and it is called Abby Emons, Emons, <laughs> something close to that. And she has a lot of inspiring things as well. And she probably definitely will sound a lot more professional than I will, but I will try to explain the best I can. One of my first tips would be to brainstorm. Get yourself a story notebook, I like to call it. You just get a random notebook and you title it your story notebook, where you get all these ideas of characters and places and plots and um, character profiles and just all your ideas of stories. Because brainstorming and being able to have your own notebook to write those brainstorming in really helps. And the two major points I mainly think about that I think are pretty important to start with is what your message, what is the message of the book going to be? What is the lesson? And second is the genre. What type of of genre do you want your book to be in? And specifically, after you've been writing for a while, you figure out what type of genre you're really good at writing in. For me, I mean, it took me a while, but I figured out that I am really good at writing fantasy books. And we will talk more about that later. But let's talk about our first bullet point here. The message. What will your story mean to the person that is reading it? And what is the message you're trying to send? Is there a lesson or is there not one? Because while writing your worlds and your characters and things, you could get distracted by what your book is actually meaning to mean. For instance, I wrote a three book series before that talks about family and friends and mainly brotherly love. I tried to focus my hardest on trying to make it based on brotherly love. So the whole time I was writing this fantasy story, I made sure that I stayed on the plot and lesson that I was planning on writing on. And it's kind of hard. Sometimes you forget because you get so lost in your story. But you've got to remember what your plot is and what your message is going to be. So why, while you have this story notebook that I suggested you guys to have, um, I would suggest that you open it to the first page and title the first page me message on one side and on the other side write um, lesson and then you split split the paper in half and you write as much as you want as far as the message of your story and as far as the lesson of your story on the other side. And once you definitely know for sure what your lesson and your plot is going to be, then, um, then I think it would be best to start with what type of genre do you think your book would fit most in with your plot and with your lesson and what your book is mainly going to be about. What genre fits it best? 
but we're going to talk about the second bullet point, the genre in in another video. If you enjoyed this and want another one, just let me know. Bye for now.